right then, everyone's favorite DPS golem is here. It's Mursad Overseer. Right, this revolves around three key mechanics. Claim, which makes you the tank and lets you use a special action hotkey to turn the orange tiles gray and deactivated so you can, not, so you can actually stand on them. If you stand on the orange tiles, you can see here that you actually take a lot of ticking damage. So don't stand on the orange tiles. Not a good idea. Very smooth brain idea. Dispel, which lets you remove shields from ads. Make sure you use this to remove the shields. I actually want the other Chrono doing this. In general, you want Chronos doing this. Um, because uh, whoever has Protect, let me take Protector. In general, you want uh, your Chronomancers taking as many mechanics of these as possible because they have mega alacrity, allowing them to actually make up for mistakes easily. Uh, the fact that they can take Dispel is very, very nice because Chronomancer guys have a trait called Improved Alacrity, which means that they get even faster cooldowns than anyone else. This means that if your claim does go wrong or if Dispel goes wrong, the Chronomancer can very, very easily make up for the mistake. Finally, we have Protect, which puts down an invulnerability field that makes everyone completely invulnerable. Not always necessary to use, but it can be sometimes. So, in summary, Claim the orange tiles to make sure you can stand on them. Okay, dispel the little adds because four adds are going to spawn at the start here and they will randomly get a shield. Dispel the shield, otherwise they take a lot, uh, lot longer to kill. And of course, protect if things go really, really badly. But well, how would that possibly happen? How would things go badly on such an easy fight? Well, uh, if you actually, uh, so when the ads get all the way across the board, the playing board, uh, they will actually turn into mega ads and start being active, running towards the player who has protect in general. They typically aggro on that player, so the protect player can actually kind of buffer them, like shove them away by positioning well there, but don't worry too much about that. These ads do a lot of damage. They make the boss do more damage. They apply AoE conditions, slow, torment, and poison. So make sure you kill them as quick as you can. When they die, they actually explode. Try and dodge the explosion. However, even when the ads aren't active, when they touch a tile, they'll actually claim it for the Mursar Overseer, actually making it go orange there. This is very important because you'll want your claim player to actually reclaim those tiles as quick as possible. And you only want to be dealing with one of these ads in its full form at a time, because all of their AoEs, all their damage will stack. As a result of this, you actually want to kill three of them and let one through. At maximum, let two through, okay? One is ideal. For this, Epidemic is actually amazing, of course, but you can do this with other stuff as well, like any kind of, you know, uh, Warriors can do it with, like, their Berserker con the F1, you know, you can even do it with, like, you know, a Purging Cleanse or Range Damage on your Firebrand, whatever, doesn't really matter, but have something that is going to do that there very effectively. Okay, and you want to stay within these tiles here as well. One of these tiles will pretty much always be safe. There will be a very extreme exception to that if the fight goes on for an incredibly long time where you have to run to the corner. But other than that, you want to stay here, okay, uh, from these areas. But what are you safe from? Well, you're safe from the spikes. Uh, spikes will appear in different patterns around the room that will kill you instantly with no down state. Don't be in the spikes at all costs, otherwise you are dead. The only way to survive them is by using protect. So if things are really going bad, but there's a million ads up, people are going down, Satan feeding all over the place, then bam, slap down that protect. It's a very small AoE, looks like Sanctuary from Guardian, and will keep everyone safe within that AoE. However, don't worry about that, guys. I know that's, oh wow, what a complicated fight. This boss is actually a DPS golem, okay? If you can get, uh, this is a great place to practice your rotation because nothing will happen here, particularly on normal. This boss has no health, dies instantly, and is going to be a free kill. Here we go. So we're actually going to be utilizing what I think is a great tank strat to make this even easier. Uh, you move the boss forward here. This means you can epidemic all three of these with epidemic and then go ahead and bounce it back. So there's the shield on the ad. We want that dispelled. There we go, as you can see. And then we want our necromons to epi as soon as the ads become vulnerable after that brief period. The epidemic comes through and they all die. There's actually an advanced tactic you can do here. If all the necros epi out and then one necromon epidemics this ad here over there by square, it will kill that one too. And you can actually deny all of them from getting in. However, I would like to see one be active here a little bit. Uh, so we'll let you go ahead and let that one through. Uh, if the tank wants it, you can actually go ahead and move to the arrow here too. That could also epidemic it. But again, we're going to let one through here just to kind of demonstrate that baseline mechanic. So here we go. The DPS is just continuing here. And you can see that this guy really doesn't do much. Doesn't have a lot of HP. Uh, and by the time one of them, of the Jade Scouts, is even, even activated, the boss is below 50% hit points. 
once again, our Necromancer Epidemic here. And I have Protect, so what I can do is kind of buffer here a little bit. And if I stand right on this corner, you'll see that I can kind of prevent the ad because it aggro's on me, right? I can try and prevent it from coming onto the platform, uh, to the tile here, therefore preventing it from even actually claiming that. See what I did there, guys? That's a really kind of key thing that not a lot of people know about, actually. So use the Protect wisely. You can essentially tank the ads, making this easier. So uh, you can kind of keep your group out of hot water from having to even claim tiles that they're standing on. But as you can see, we're now approaching the end of the encounter as it's just getting nuked out of orbit right now. The Ion Cannon of Necromancer, the Ion Shade is engaged and we are not even going to be dealing with an additional ad here whatsoever. So break out the Necromancer, break out the Epidemic and clear that Mersart Overseer. There we go.